Well, good evening and welcome to the Forbes School of Business and Technology MBA webinar. Tonight's webinar will have a special focus on our first year MBA students. As you might know, and maybe you'll find out today, there are many, many resources that are needed to assist students in reaching their professional, personal, and academic goals. Tonight, we'll explore a few of those resources and hear from a student's perspective about their experiences within the MBA program at the Forbes School of Business and Technology at Ashford University. So we're glad you're here and hopefully you can take away a few nuggets of information that will help you be successful. So it's my pleasure at this point to introduce Dr. Maya Zelich, who's department chair for the Advanced Management and Studies Division within the Forbes School of Business and Technology at Ashford University. Dr. Zelich. Thank you, Charlie. Hi, everyone. Uh, it is my pleasure and my honor to, to welcome all of you, especially those of you who are our uh, first, first year degree students our MBA students, and I would also like to take the opportunity to, to thank all of our dear colleagues that made this session possible and, and arranged all the logistics. Uh, this session is, is recorded, uh, so those of you who may end up uh, missing out on, on some of those points, we'll post this in our uh, MBA club uh, on LinkedIn, so um, hopefully uh, you, you'll get some um, valuable information pertaining to our resources uh, that you can take advantage of as you go through your studies. Uh, as Charlie mentioned, I'm Dr. Maya Zelik. I'm the uh, department chair of the Advanced Management Studies. Uh, MBA program uh, is part of uh, that particular division. The, uh, this program is completely new. We actually started launching the brand new version of MBA last year. So those of you with us uh, tonight, chances are you are going through that new version of the MBA. And uh, we leveraged and actually took advantage quite a bit of our connection uh, with the Forbes, and uh, we are advertising this MBA program as MBA the Forbes way. Some of the specifics of this particular program that are differentiating us from other programs out there is our strong connection uh, with Forbes Media and uh, Steve Forbes, who actually is featured in one of our courses, Global Economics and politi uh, Political Influence course. Uh, not sure if you had a chance to go through this course as of yet. It is uh, quite relevant. Um, Steve Forbes is providing a lot of his valuable uh, business insight, but we also have some of the uh, top-notch business experts uh, that are providing uh, you with some real-time advice in addition to uh, meeting your course objectives. Uh, the new MBA program has interactive business simulations. Uh, one of the most prominent ones is the uh, capstone business simulation that will actually be the um, end of your program. And you will be actually uh, taking advantage of everything you've learned, putting together all the resources we provided you with, and you will be competing against the others uh, as part of that final capstone. So hopefully you're going to have lots of fun on top of being able to showcase some of your knowledge. As you go into your Canvas classes, a lot of times you're gonna see the, uh, the feeds uh, incorporating blogs from the industry experts to the side of whatever the course material is. I strongly suggest for you to click on those feeds because those feeds are not random. What we've done uh, with the help of our technolo technology is we actually are linking only the articles that are connected to your course objective. So as you are in a particular course, clicking on those live feeds, you will see the relevant blogs, articles, tweets that are really connected to what we're covering in that particular um, class in that particular week. Um, some of you started working on the Walmart case study. We have a scalp folding case study throughout the program, starting with the, with the first few courses. And you will see the videos from authors, industry experts, and faculty. Those are original videos for your program. Uh, so we're not recycling the old material from the websites. We're not actually giving you something that other students have access to. As a matter of fact, as MBA students, you have access to the uh, videos that were actually recorded aligned with the course objectives for your program. You will be working on a, on a quite engaging portfolio assignment. The goal is to have your own, very own portfolio that will be the, uh, um, the, at the end of this program that you can present to the prospective employers. And we have a lot of career resources and career development tools. Uh, one of the exercises, for example, in one of the courses is in, in the marketing courses for you to set up your LinkedIn profile uh, 
to enhance it quite a bit. So some of you already have a LinkedIn, but we're actually enhancing your LinkedIn profile quite a bit. And one of the first advices that we're giving you is take advantage of the Forbes brand. Take advantage of the Forbes connection. As you're introducing yourself, you are the student of the Forbes School of uh, Business and Technology. Uh, very soon, uh, we will be part of the uh, Uni University of Arizona Global Campus. So make sure to make that introduction. Forbes School of Business and Technology on your resume, on your LinkedIn profile. Uh, exercise and, and create your personal brand. Also part of that course is we're asking you to create a business card uh, and, and the podcast. And that podcast is actually uh, practicing your elevator speech. Uh, who, you know, explaining as to uh, everything that there is there to know about you um, when it comes to your career uh, in the format of the elevator speech podcast. So lots of fun assignments. Uh, so if you were just hoping to do a discussion, uh, boring discussions or assignments, uh, this program is uh, quite fun and quite engaging. And also we have original uh, relevant books and course materials, including some of the original book authors. Uh, for example, The Green Approach, Dr. Chitra Anad, uh, her book is being used in the course and she is al also preparing uh, great videos within that course. So it, it is the original course material that we're using for that particular course, entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship. Okay, so these are some of the courses. Um, in a chat pod, you may wanna <laughs> let us know where you at in the program at this point of time. Uh, for example, some of the, uh, the ones that I'm very excited about and also a little biased because, you know, some of those uh, I'm teaching as well. I think Charlie's teaching the global economics and political influence as well. Uh, so it's a terrific course. Our very own uh, Dr. Susan Sazdiek, who's with us tonight, uh, she, uh, she developed a few courses, one of which is an entrepreneur, entrepreneur course. And that's the one that we have the green approach, uh, the book green approach. Our international business course has a uh, a gaming component. It's actually a virtual internship co component. You're going to be actually finding uh, and matching yourself up with, uh, with someone else uh, outside of the venues of our university as you're collaborating. Uh, we have a business law course that has a virtual game as well that is quite interactive. There is no such a thing as the right answer or the wrong answer. It is the best answer in comparison to the set of answers. Um, so I'm not going to I'm not going to waste everyone's time and go through every single one of those courses, but we're very excited because of the fact that we created a very relevant course material, very applicable, very much aligned with the business arena. We just launched the advisory board that consists of our industry experts, and they're giving us the instantaneous feedback on the curriculum, making sure it's relevant. It is something that is needed in the business uh, right now, and also that is consistently revamped and consistently readjusted based on the business needs. Uh, the, the last thing that I'm going to talk about prior to handing it back to Charlie is the capstone course. Already touched upon it a little bit. Uh, take advantage of this course. We actually partnered up with a simulation company. Uh, that is the top level company in the world of simulations and you will be competing uh, against yourself and the others. You will be given the real business problems. Uh, you will go through a set of different options, set of different answers, trying to make your business sustainable, trying to save your company, trying to win against the other competitors in the field. And yet again, going back to that concept, the real business world. There is no such a thing as, well, A is a correct answer, the other three answers are incorrect. It is making sure that you're picking the right answer within the business arena, uh, within that particular industry, and making sure that that answer is getting you from the point A to the point B. Uh, with that said, I would like again to thank you for your time tonight, for joining us, those of you joining us live, or those of you that will be listening to this recording. I wish you the best of luck in your program. Uh, if you need anything, um, Susan, Charlie, and I, were here for you, so please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you very much, everyone, and Charlie, back to you. Great. Thank you so much, Maya. One thing we're talking, just, we do have a LinkedIn group in our MBA club, and Katrina and I talk a little bit about, she's, she's fabulous at this, very interactive, and helps, helps people, like-minded people in the program kind of get involved and share and network, so we'll talk more about that as we go along, so... So we do, so do make sure you take the opportunity to join our, our LinkedIn group and our MBA club. So with that being said, so the most popular or most popular and most important part of our MBA program is our students. That what we do on a daily basis is support 
our students so they can reach personal, professional, academic goals. And everything you'll hear today is focused on that. How do we help our students be successful? Our students are working people. You have a lot going on. So how do we help you navigate all those things, provide you the resources you need so you can be successful? So we're really fortunate today to have Katrina Furman with us who's a current Forbes School of Business and Technology student in our MBA program. And Katrina is going to share um, kind of her experiences. And she reached out to some of her colleagues, which is, which is very cool as well. So Katrina, thanks for being here. And I, we'd love to hear what you have to say. Thanks, Charlie. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. It's great to be on the panel. And I'm happy to have so many of my fellow classmates on the bridge. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm going to share my screen. I put together a quick PowerPoint. It's only two slides, but I wanted to give you guys um, a visual on what Ashford has been like for me so far. Um, and I'm just gonna minimize this. So basically, um, as Charlie mentioned, my name's Katrina. I like to be very engaged on LinkedIn and I currently work at Verizon um, in Manhattan prior to COVID and I live in Jersey City. So I've been working remotely since February and I started the MBA program back in January. Um, and it's just been really tremendous. And as you can see from this screen, there's a few logos on here. And if you're not familiar with what they are, um, when I joined the MBA program, it was really important for me to branch out and see how I could really make the most of my time here because the program itself is only a year and a half. If you're very diligent with your studies and don't take a break apart from the winter vacation, which I believe is about two weeks, but let's say you go through it all the way through. Um, you want to just maybe be able to maximize your time. And at least that was something that was important to me. So I wanted to find out about honor societies and what graduation would look like for me if I'm part of these communities. Um, so the top right is Sigma Beta Delta, which is um, based on your GPA. And I think you have to be in your program for at least um, half of the time before you would be considered for that. And then Golden Key International Honor Society, they consider you twice a year um, whenever you're in the program. So some of you may have already received emails about that. And if you join, um, then they'll send you a plaque, which I actually have on my desk and you can wear the cords at graduation. And for me, it's just something nice to commemorate this time in my life and the achievement that having a high GPA in a master's program gives me as a human being. Um, so it's something that's important to me. And then in the bottom right is uh, the sorority for Ashford. It's not technically a sorority, but it's basically a community. It could be male or female, but it's Sigma Epsilon Kappa. And right now they're in the orientation and recruiting process. So they do that also twice a year. So if you didn't make it into this one, but you're interested, you can either join late or you can start um, in the spring. So feel free to reach out to me about any of these things if you have questions. Um, and the next slide is actually a video I put together that Charlie uh, touched on. I'm not sure if it will play. If it doesn't play, I have the video up on the side. It was embedding, but um, just a brief recap on the video before I do play it. So I had reached out to my classmates and a couple of colleagues that I basically recruited to joining Ashford's MBA program to see if they would be able to just give a quick testimonial. And then I diced it up and put this together um, along with my editor. She did the, the audio, like the music for me. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I don't think anyone would deny that 2020 has been a challenging year. But the question is, how do you want to spend your life? What do you want to be focusing on? And where do you want to be in six months from now? And in a year from now? Because the thing about an MBA from Ashford University is that six months from now, you're a third of the way through. A year from now, you only have a third of the way to go. And in a year and a half, you could be walking across that stage. So what are you waiting for? Hi, my name's Bill Scrubber. Uh, father of two, married with a beautiful wife. Hey guys, my name is Igor Kostic. I'm a client partner at Verizon. I've been working here for six years and I'm following my MBA program at Ashford University. And they didn't miss a beat when all of us had to adjust the rest of our lives. School continued, business as usual. Two simple reasons for me. One is I have a very clear development path or 
a goal to become a uh, leader in my company. And I believe that an MBA will help me get more well-rounded on understanding what it means uh, to have a business across the different functions. Um, and then secondly, the connections or the network that you gain through Ashford uh, are going to be invaluable. I went from thinking I would go to an Ivy League $100,000 school and do weekends and do that for two years and have that MBA on my resume from a school like that to learning about Ashford, realizing I could be done in less than a year and a half, understanding what it means to be able to go to school online and the amount of flexibility and freedom that truly provides. And in a world like COVID, can you imagine paying $100,000 for a cohort education that's supposed to be in person and then only to realize that you're going to be doing it remotely for the next year, year and a half, two years? It's definitely not where you want to put your time, energy, and money. At least it's not where I would have wanted to. decided to come to Ashford University for my master's degree uh, because I had a relationship with my employer, Guardian Life. And once I realized how flexible the schedules were and uh, being able to handle being a full-time father and a full-time student and a full-time employee, after university seemed like the right fit. There are honor societies like the Golden Key International Honor Society and Sigma Beta Delta. I think Ashford runs a really good structure uh, where you have the flexibility to really dedicate your own time uh, as and when you please. However, there are clear structures on delivering discussions and engaging in discussions on materials that you just uh, went through, um, as well as uh, you know, delivering assignments in, in multiple ways. So it could be reports, it could be videos, uh, which I believe uh, makes it really nice and interactive and interesting as well. And it allows you to learn in a better way. For me, Ashford offers a plethora of opportunities to get involved, to give back to the community and to grow in your academic experience as well as your personal development. There's so many people I've met so far and it's only been since January. And I couldn't think of a better way to spend quarantine. And so far about halfway through my MBA program and it's been a great experience. Okay, um, so I'm gonna unshare my screen and I just wanted to thank you guys for watching that. And as Charlie mentioned on LinkedIn, we have an MBA group chat, um, kind of like a group, I don't know, support group maybe. I added the link into the comments, so feel free to join that. Um, and yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for me. I guess if people have questions, we can dive into that at the end, but thank you for the time. Um, and I'm really happy to be here. And I guess one other thing I just thought of I know a lot of people when they're getting their MBA, they do it maybe to grow within their current organization, right? You're trying to get a promotion and move ahead, um, or maybe you're trying to switch industries and become an entrepreneur. And either way, I think that this gives us the opportunity to collaborate together. And I don't want anyone to miss out on that by not taking advantage of these resources and networking and growing as a community. So thank you. And Katrina, I, I just would like on behalf of our team, thank you so much. This was uh, just an amazing production, uh, just coming from you and from, from your colleagues. Uh, uh, really loved it. I just saw it for the first time. I know you sent the link, but I was so busy today. Uh, thank you so much. Very, very good touching. Time. Very, very good. Thank you. I'm so glad. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. That's really, that's at the core of what we do. And some of us have been in higher ed longer than others. <laughs> I mean, that's why we do what we do. It's really, how do we try to make a positive difference in the lives of other people, help them be successful? And it's stories like that, and it's that kind of positive energy. I know for myself, that keeps us coming back day after day after day. So, so thank you for sharing that. That was just fantastic. So, um, so part of it, as you go through your, your MBA program, you'll certainly get a lot of opportunities to do some writing. And I have found over the years that that it's just not by osmosis you become a good writer. It takes time and practice and rewriting. And we have a ton of different writing resources that are available for our students. So we're lucky here to have Mr. Luis Santani here today, who's our online, an online writing consultant for Ashford, who's going to share some of the resources that are available for our students. Luis? Thank you very much. I am glad to be here as well. Uh, I'm tough act to follow that beautiful video and the uh, the inspirational stories. 
I'm, I'm a writer first, business person last. So I don't have that technology available, but I hope you guys are able to uh, uh, enjoy what I can present to you that will make your writing life a heck of a lot easier. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you some of the resources from the Ashford Writing Center uh, as we do the... Oh, there's a, a me when I had a little bit more hair and better vision. Um, but uh, you can see that I'm the MFA, uh, writing expert. I'm one of three writing consultants at the Ashford Writing Center, and you can reach out to us. I'll give you our email address at the end if you have any concerns about writing um, or if you need any advice on uh, your writing. Uh, we have plenty of resources for you. And you can access us quite easily in your Canvas classroom. So you log into your classroom, and we are right there on the left-hand side you can go ahead and click Writing Center and Library, and you'll see immediately what I call our big four uh, right in front of you. And that would be our Writing Center website there at the top. And then beneath that are the three most used resources that we have uh, in terms of uh, services, and that's our paper review, 24-7 writing, tutoring, and Grammarly. I'm going to get into a little bit uh, about what each of those means for you, but they're all available to you as Ashford students for free. There we go. So paper review is a service where no matter what you're writing, whether it be a, an academic paper, a business assignment, or a, just a journal for class, you can submit it to the paper review and get feedback from a writing expert within 24 hours. Our average turnaround time right now is actually closer to five hours. So a lot of students are able to submit their assignments day of and get feedback to know how they can revise and improve their assignment. And by the time that they get it back, they can make those revisions before they submit their assignments. Uh, if you look at what the actual interface looks like, you can see that it's just on your Microsoft Word document. You would submit it, and then you would get your tutor commenting in the um, side there, the margin, and they will give details and suggestions for a revision, uh, ranging from structural to grammatical. Generally speaking, our paper review is really good if you are asking questions about how you can best structure an assignment or uh, kind of get to those higher order concerns of writing efficacy. Uh, you'll see that our next resource is more if you're kind of looking for those line edits or something specific. But before I get to that, you're all business people, so I know you like your data. And so I wanted to show you that the, the users of paper review end up having a significantly higher pass rate than non-users. Uh, this was for all of Ashford, not just for the MBA program, but you can see the, the gap there is quite large. And uh, it's, it's certainly something for free and that's totally convenient that you should be using on a regular basis. Next up is our 24 seven live writing support. And this is exactly what it sounds like. It is chat support that is available for you to get help on your writing 24 hours a day, seven days a week, no matter where you are in the world, no matter what you may be doing. And this is what that interface looks like. You would log in similarly through, our, through your Canvas classroom. Uh, you'd click chat now, and then it would put you into this lesson space where you could use this sort of white space to copy and paste or type uh, what you're working on. You can use the speakers or camera function at the top right. Most students tend to use this bottom right chat function. And generally speaking, the 24 seven live writing support is for students who have a really specific question about one aspect of their assignment. If you're writing something that requires a, uh, you know, we often go to thesis statements in academic writing. I know that's not always going to be the case in a lot of MBA writing, but you can log in and say, hey, the purpose of this paragraph is to do X. Talk to a tutor about the best ways you can accomplish that goal uh, in, in, in a short period of time. So if you don't have an entire draft ready for the paper review, this is a good way to sort of get those uh, wheels turning in your head and, and crank something out onto the page that you can eventually, once it's complete in a draft form, send off to paper review for even more feedback. Uh, same kind of information that I can show you here. The, the pass rates are much higher for those that use than those that don't. Don't want to get into too much detail about that because our next resource is something that is so cool for anybody who's at Ashford University. If you're just getting back into school, you just enrolled at Ashford, you haven't been at a university for a while, you can use Grammarly for free at Ashford University. And some people say, well, I already have Grammarly. As an Ashford student, you get the premium version for free. And so I will uh, lead you to the page at the end of this where you can see that process for signing up for it. 
But once you sign up, you get free Grammarly Premium, you can put it in your browser. So it'll check all of your emails, anything you write online. And you can also put it in your Microsoft Word processor so it can check all of the things that you write for school as well. And not only does Grammarly uh, kind of edit the way that Microsoft Word would, but you can see in this image here that it gives you not just what's going on in your writing, but it explains why, teaches you how to avoid it in the future, and gives you all of these samples so that you can better understand the issue that they're trying to correct. The hope, of course, is that over time, you have less and less to correct, but Grammarly, since it's constantly working in the background, is something you need to install as soon as possible. Uh, the, perhaps the best part about this is that Grammarly, once you enroll as an Ashford student, you keep the premium version forever. Even when you're done with your degree, you get to keep this. So sign up for it as soon as you can. And then our last and most uh, kind of richest resource is our website itself. You can access this through the Canvas classroom or just through our writingcenter.ashford.edu uh, address. And once you go there, we have all sorts of resources you can hover over and search for. You can see that if you're scared getting back into uh, the first year of your N MBA program, first year of school in a while, you can kind of start from scratch and really revisit what it means to write at a college level, at a university level. And more than that, if you look over at that uh, magnifying glass on the top right, you can search for any issue that you can think of in writing. And if there is a resource on our website, it will show up on our search page. I like to say that our search function is like Google, only we don't listen to your conversations. So it's a little bit better. Um, lastly, in terms of what is good for students is if you hover over our services, you'll see that there's a link called student services. And on that page, you can see all sorts of writing guides specific to your field. Notice the second bullet there. Th these are the top 10 writing guides for business and technology. When you click that, it leads you to a page that looks like this. And you might need all of these. You might need most of these, but many of these will help you throughout your MBA journey, whether it be writing a professional email a little bit better or embedding tables, images, and appendices into your assignments. All of these are available to you for free on our website. If you have any questions about our, our uh, website itself, we do have a troubleshooting guide here that can help you. But more than that, you can reach out to us at, uh, by, by contacting us through your Canvas classroom or emailing us, and we can help you locate whatever it is that will make your writing life less stressful as an Ashford MBA student. And that's really what we're here for, is to really help you as, as students feel supported and know that getting stuff down is step one. Getting support can only help you, and by the end, you'll have the strongest uh, writing that you've maybe ever had. Uh, I really urge you to reach out to us, check out our resources, and if you have any questions, please ask away. I'm happy to answer them. Thank you so much for listening, and uh, best of luck on your journey. Thank you so much. I think, yeah, I wish, I wish uh, when I think back, it's been a while, of course, since I've been in school, but I wish I had these resources back then. You know, it's, the, the amount of support is just unbelievable. So, and I've heard directly from students when I tell our classes, the amount of support, especially the, as Louis talked about, the, turn, the quick turnaround for, for paper review is unbelievable. If you can get five, six hours, that's, that's just fantastic. So, and, and if I may quickly piggyback on Katrina, Katrina mentioned that Ashford gives you a lot of support. No university I've ever taught at has this much support. This has the most support out of any university I've been a part of for writing. So please use it. We urge you to. Absolutely. Yeah, please, uh, please do. So Louis, thanks to you and the folk, your folk writing folks who do a fabulous job. So part of our academic journey, again, so we have lots of partners, I think, as, as we go, as you go through your journey. Um, and one of those partners is really our career and alumni services. They do a lot of great work with networking and many, many resources to help you, you know, begin with the end in mind and help you with resources along the way. So we're fortunate today to have um, Amanda Johnson, who's a career advisor with our Career and Alumni Services, who's going to share with us a lot of the different resources that, that her group has to offer. So Amanda, please. Awesome. Thank you so much, Charlie. I am so glad to be here. As Charlie mentioned, I am one of the career advisors here on the Career Services and Alumni Relations team. So I'm going to share my screen here one moment.
All right. So I am a, I hold a global career development facilitator credential, and I am also a certified federal career coach. And I have been with Ashford University since October of 2018. So our mission here in Career Services is to empower our students and our alumni with the employment readiness skills needed to achieve their individualized career goals through innovative programs and services. So we are here to empower you and to coach you throughout the entire career development process. So no matter what phase you are at, we are here to assist you. And it is never too early to start planning for your career and really preparing for it. So we do recommend reaching out to our department and either connecting with a career advisor or just looking at our tools and services as soon as possible. So this could be if you're looking for a job promotion at your current company, or maybe you're looking to move into a management role or a complete career change, we can help you with all of those different phases. And it's just important to remember that career development is an individual process. So your journey is going to look different from the person next to you. But that's why we're here. We're really here to provide you with those next steps and where to go. So here's just an overview of the key services that we do provide. So we do offer several free self-assessments that I highly recommend taking advantage of. So some of these assessments include StrengthsQuest, Type Focus, ONET Interest Profiler. We even have a military-specific self-assessment as well. So our department, we can provide you with access to these assessments. And then we can also help you to analyze your results and help you to understand how you can use those results to make informed career decisions. Another thing that we can help you with is that career exploration and planning process. So this is when you are researching and exploring different job occupations and discovering how they relate to your degree program and your interests and your strengths, as well as your career aspirations. One of our most well-known services is the resume and cover letter reviews. So we can conduct a thorough review of your resume and your cover letter, and then we'll provide you with feedback and recommendations on how you can make them even more marketable to employers. And then we also have a wide variety of tools that you can use to build your resume and help to optimize it in addition to conducting one of those reviews. We can also help you to prepare for interviews, especially with those video interviews with everything going on during the past couple of months, a lot of those interviews have moved online. So we can conduct a mock interview. We could do it over the phone. We could conduct a Zoom mock interview. We also have this really beneficial mock interview module that you can use to record yourself watch it back and just really listen to how are you answering these questions and what are your nonverbal cues that you're giving off and how can you improve that. We can also help you with the whole networking process and we can assist you in building an effective LinkedIn profile and then also providing you with tips on how can you build your professional network using LinkedIn and how can you connect with other professionals in your current industry or that industry that you're hoping to enter. And then lastly, we also help with the job search process. So we do not conduct job placement here in Career Services, but we will provide you with best practices and strategies to really help you put your best foot forward. So in addition to those different services that I just covered, we do have a wide variety of resources that you can access 24 seven. So our goal here in career services is to meet you where you're at. So we completely understand that between school and work and your family life, 
that you may have very limited time to reach out to career services or to actually conduct that one-on-one -on -one appointment. So therefore we have created countless resources that you can access at any time of the day. So our biggest resource is my career. And if you have never explored my career, I highly, highly recommend that you log into it. And the only way to access this is through your student portal. So it's right there on that main page kind of towards the bottom. And so once you're in my career, this is where you have access to all of these 24 seven resources. We also have a university specific job board where someone else on our team is building connections with employers and they're posting these positions specifically for Ashford students. And this is also where you would go to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with a career advisor. And one of our popular resources in my career is Vault. And so in Vault, you can explore industry specific resumes and cover letters. You can watch Q and A videos from professionals across various industries. And they just, pro they provide really valuable information about, you know, what is a day in the life in this role? Or how can you put, how can you enter this field? So this is a really great tool if you are looking to change careers or if you're really conducting that job market research. So here are some additional resources that are available 24 seven. The career pathways are also located in that My Career Portal. So these pathways, they provide you with career guidance that is related to your specific degree program. So once you log into My Career, you have already been assigned a NBA career pathway. And so essentially what it is, it's this ch checklist that you can follow throughout your entire degree program just to make sure that you're staying on track and really setting yourself up for success upon graduation. So for example, between zero and 30 credits, we really recommend setting those short and long-term career goals. And we also recommend really starting that job market research. And then once you hit that 30 to 60 credits is when we recommend building that professional network, attending conferences, and also just making sure that your resume and your cover letter are ready to go. Another really important resource that we have is our military career track. So this resource is not available in my career, but you can find it on our career resources webpage. And so this is similar to the career pathways and it provides specific career guidance, but it's for our military affiliated students. So it really guides them in transitioning from the military to civilian employment. And it breaks it up from that pre-transition, transition, and then post-transition process. So here are just some different ways that you can go about scheduling that one-on-one -on -one coaching appointment. So one of the ways is you can log into My Career and just click on the calendar tab, which will be on the left-hand side of the page. So from there, it will just show you all of our different advisors as well as our open time slots. So you can find a time that works well for you. If you prefer, or if you ever run into issues, please feel free, you can just send an email. Our email address is careerservices at ashford.edu. And we can go about and get that appointment scheduled for you if you prefer. And you can also always give us a call our extension is 20057 and leave a voicemail and then we will get back to you. And then here are just some of the different types of appointments that we offer. So this is similar to those different services that I mentioned. So really depending on where you're at, if you're looking to take a self-assessment and discuss your results, or if you're looking for that career in major exploration because you may be unsure of what type of career you want to pursue or what types of positions positions are available with your MBA degree. So those are really popular calls that we have. We can also look at your resume, your LinkedIn profile. If you wanna focus on that job search strategies and job boards and networking. Otherwise for that interview preparation, we can always do that mock interview as well. So we do have another virtual career fair coming up in October that we are super excited for. So this is going to take place on Wednesday, October 7th. 
and it's from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So you can attend the event for 10 minutes if you want. You could attend it for two hours. It's really whatever is most convenient for you. But this is such a great way for you to connect with national employers and just explore all of these opportunities. And at the virtual career fair, you can either chat individually with these employers, and there's also going to be a video chat option as well. So you should have received an email last week and this week regarding that virtual career fair and how to register for it. But if you have not received that email or if you're running into problems with that registration process, please feel free to reach out to us and we'll go ahead and help you get registered for that. Awesome, and here are just some different ways that you can reach out to us. Like I mentioned, I highly recommend logging into that My Career Portal. That is where you will access all of those different resources that I mentioned, plus countless other ones. You can always give us a call and, or you can shoot us an email. So that's all I had. Thank you so much, everybody. And I really do wish you luck and please just connect with us. We are always looking forward to speaking with you. Amanda, thank you. Wow, you can tell there's just tons of resources available. I think when you think about our writing center, our career alumni services, probably my advice is to visit early and often. I mean, it's there all, and, and now often is 24 seven. So, so many of the resources are there whenever you are. And I think Amanda and Lily Boyce talked about, um, we need to go where our students are. And people, you know, I did my MBA and my PhD when I was an adult. So I know you study at weird times of the day. So that's why we have to go where our students are is, and that 24 seven is just critical. So. So I think that's just just tons of resources. And again, with the career, with the virtual career fair, we'll be at the virtual, we're there at the last one. It was fantastic. So we'll, we'll be, have a presence at the one coming up as well. And, you know, if you have friends or anybody like to find out more about the MBA program, we'd love to talk to them. We love just to talk if people just want to stop in, love talking with current students and just connect in that way too. But it's a great, great resource. So I encourage people to do that as well. So. So really, I want to just conclude. First of all, I should probably inter or introduce myself because I think I probably forgot that at the beginning. So, so we'll backtrack a little bit. So my name is Charlie Minnick. So I'm uh, the lead faculty for our MBA program. I've been at Ashford almost 15 years. That's a long time. And the, the resources as they've grown and developed over the years is unbelievable. When I think back to when I started in January 2006, we didn't have a sliver of these type of resources. But as we're committed to student success and going where students are, these resources have grown and developed and expanded so we can take care of our students and help you be successful. So um, best part of my job is students and these wonderful people I get to work with on a daily basis and the passion they bring to the table. That's the best part of my job by far and away. So, um, so again, thanks everybody for being here. Um, we wish you continued success. And remember, we're all here to help you be successful. That's why we do what we do. So again, thanks for stopping and have a great rest of the evening.